In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to draw a buffalo and paint it with watercolor. Buffalo has a very interesting horns. So I'm going to first figure out where I'm going to draw the horns. So I'm going to put it over here like that. And uh, this I have the horn over here. I'm going to make it even bigger like that. So plan the location of that horns first and then on the face. I'm going to put the face over here. The face looks like a, a triangle, like that. So understand to see the big picture is very easy for us to draw. And the neck over here, the neck's very big. The neck's like this, this big, right? And then the body, and okay, here you go. And the leg coming here, like that. And the body is put it around it, the body like this. Ooh, very big, like that. Like this, almost like a, a circle or oval shape. And then the front leg, here you go. And then the another one, it's just roughly, we draw it first, and then we're going to mm, confirm the line with darker and the bottom, I'm going to have grasses because buffalo like to be in the grass. That's good. Now I'm going to add the horn coming here, all the way coming up like this, on top of the head. Here you go. That's good. And the eye, I'm going to see the location of the eye. I'm going to draw the eye. Uh, later and to figure out this look like a, a cylinder but this the front of the mouth is a little bit more like a circle but facing to a uh, different dimension at the top like this and the front and then coming down like this right so that's good and two ears and right under the horn when I was really young, I lived in the countryside. And then every weekend, I would bring the buffaloes to the foot of the mountain to watch them, to eat, and take care of them. And this time, I'm going to use ink marker. My corn, I have the link in the video descriptions. It looks like this, the tip. Okay. Now I'm going to start from the top, right over here. That's good. One section at a time, like that. Here you go. I'm going to make it a little bit lower, like that, coming up. Ooh, that's good, right? And then on this side, make it all the way here, and then like this. But if there's another dimension, I also need to add to it like this. Right. Pretty easy. Just follow me. And I will also have the drawing uh, uploaded for you to download. Just look at the video description for the link. And for this one, I'm going to draw the whole horn like that. Maybe a little bit and draw the line a little bit, little bit in the middle over here like this. It looks good like that. Here you go. I don't need to connect this. The eye over here, so I'm going to draw the eye. That's good. Easy. And almost like a human eye. And the side. And then draw a little line on the front over here. Here you go. In the comment under the video, could you tell me if you like this uh, marker drawing? Or if you want me to uh, continue using pencil to draw? Okay, i like to know. I'm showing you different uh, technique, different materials. And I want you to tell me that which one is a favorite and then I can produce the video that you 
like more. Here, get the eye over here. Like that. Usually the cow's eye is really big. So it is much bigger than, um, of course, proportionally, our eye is, is good. Uh, but just compare eye to eye, and they have very big eye. Okay, now this the ear, like that. On this side, I'm also going to, going to add this ear over here. That's good, like that. Okay, now the cow looks good. And maybe the top over here, I'm going to draw a little bit line because the nose appear to be a little bit lighter. But the skin is a little bit darker. So now I'm going to come to the top over here. There's the back, continue. And there's looking at the line like this. And now a little curve coming down over here. Now a little bit like this. And that's good. And now look at the front over here. I'm going to have this coming down. That's the neck. Right? And then the leg. Like this. And then let's take a look at the front over here. And actually is coming all the way down here. Like that little turn. Here you go. Now the front. The front leg. And I want to just draw it straight. Okay, they are actually a little curve. And coming over here, now coming up. Here you go. That's the body. Hmm. Now let's finish the drawing like that. And then this one looks a little bit bigger, like this. That. And there's another one in the back over here. The trust herself, you can do it, okay? And I'm gonna make the uh, little tail uh, over here, like this. The tail a little coming up like that. So the tail is not really that big, not like the horse tail, like that. That's good. And the side of the face, uh, some grass like that and now I'm using my needy eraser next I'm gonna do a watercolor painting on top of this I'm gonna use this uh, larger size of calligraphy brush put in the water okay first I'm going to Walk into the background. I'm gonna make a little yellow green color. That's good. Yellow plus the blue color. So I'm gonna have some color for the background first. Make it a little soft. Add a little water to it. That's good. Like that. And I'm gonna have some light color over here because the buffalo really like the grass. They eat the grass. This is their food. Like that, very soft. Okay, in the front have a little bit more yellow, and maybe even some orange, like that. It's just simple. Put it like this. It's good. Now next, I'm gonna paint the color to the horn, and the top have a little bit, kind of orange brown color. So put the orange. With the blue colors, we look like a little brown color. Okay, a light brown color. Now on top of the, the horn here, I'm gonna have this color, a little bit more gray, and star over here, and maybe a little bit blue color. And star over here, like all the way, that's good. And at the bottom, I'm gonna have some shadow, a little bit later, okay, have it like this. And make sure you have fun, right? Fun is very important. Now I'm gonna paint some color on the back and I'm gonna make some brown color. So yellow and red and the blue color. And the three color together, I get the brown color. Even more blue. Now 
I'm gonna put it in the back over here. Here you go. It may be even darker than this. So let's see. Here, like that. Have it down. First, wet the space, and then we're going to uh, make it even darker color. So I'm gonna have a little blue. So between these colors, you can actually have some variations, and somewhere a little bit more warm color, somewhere actually have a little bit blue color, like that. As the first with this color. I'm gonna paint it all into the face as well. The top of the face is see a little bit more um, lighter, okay? And the side is see a little bit darker, so like that. And come into the side over here, the leg. And that's fine, that's good. This first. And that fade away, that's fine. Keep it, let it fade. And that fade away, we, if we, do, we don't want it, we can fix it. Now I'm gonna make some really dark color. So I'm gonna adjust the blue and the red, okay? Less water, okay, just these two colors. This blue color is the plasm blue. It's a little bit more green shade. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this under the belly because this is darker and a shadow. I'm gonna have this in the shadow too. Now today, you are using dark color for the shadow and that's good. Now the bottom over here, that's also darker on the face, the ear, like that, a little bit darker. Now you can see it look three dimensional. And on this, and the leg over here and the bottom over here also a little darker, like that. And on the other side, a little bit darker too. That's good. On the ear, I'm gonna have a little bit darker color here too. Now, the buffalo, it looks good. I'm gonna put the, put the tail like this. That's good. Wow. Now next, I would like to do, I'm gonna have a little bit red color, from almost like a brown color, like this. Here you go. I'm gonna put this on the front. This is actually much warmer, should be, okay, like that. And that looks fabulous. And we wanna soften a little bit. She's showing actually the nose, like a turning over, like that. And I'm gonna also use a little bit uh, brown color, mix the color, okay? If you need to pause the video, pause it, finish your step before you watch the next step. Okay, like on this side, a little bit shadow. This side, a little bit shadow, a little bit darker, like that. So this is good. Uh, now I'm gonna just clean my brush uh, it has no color, so I can actually lift up the color if I need to. You see that? Use the water as the eraser for watercolor. Now it's softer. Now it looks good. If you want to say, oh, I'm going to let go some color over here, just use the water and you can wash it. So there's no need to worry. And But this kind of fun texture, okay, let it be, right? And no worry. And we're gonna wait a little bit, let it all dry, before we come back to use uh, the white color from this Atissa watercolor paints. It has a titanium white, which is very good white color. Now it already dry. I'm gonna ready to apply the last color with the white. Usually I don't use white color, I use the water to make the color lighter, but for this one, I need to use the white to cover up the color underneath. So I'm gonna use this called liner brush. I'm gonna squeeze some colors directly from the tube. Just like this. I don't need water. And let's see, I'm gonna from the bottom, I'm coming up like this, draw a little line. You see that? That look like the grass. I'm gonna have another one. There you go. Just just look like the grass coming up. Like that. Here you go. I'm gonna have a little 
little bit more like that there you go and you can draw a little curve like that that's good now over here I'm gonna draw a few line like that so you look like the grass is that looks very nice I'm gonna put a cup over here too so you have some texture for the uh, for the grass now it looks like the buffaloes it actually in the grass field like that I'm gonna have one is get up much higher so I'm gonna have this one even higher like this okay that's good this painting is finished it's your turn now let me know what would you like me to paint next and what is your favorite animal